Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and welcome to yet another episode of Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you take a look at an ad and tell me whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly, and then I tell you whether you're right or not. Today's ad specimen is a simple postcard sent from a company that sells a uh, nutritional supplement called CalMax. Now, if you take a look at the um, address side of the card, that's addressed to me, as you can see, it says, Jim, oh, excuse me, it says, Jim, take advantage of this limited time offer and stay on the path to good health with CalMax. And it uh, shows you a picture of the product over here, picture of a happy customer, presumably over here, some bullet points over there, and it talks about an offer which is plus a free can of CalMax. That's the little added bonus they're giving you to take action. If you look at the other side of the card, it says, Jim, thanks for being our customer. Yes, this is something that was sent to me because I had previously purchased something from the company. And again, some bullet points about the product itself and um, uh, also additional products that they have for sale over on this side with a 50% discount on some of those. Okay. Now you should know that I have, am a dormant customer. I actually returned some of their product. And this came about six months later. So with those conditions in mind, do you think that this ad specimen is good, bad, or ugly? Take as much time as you need to look at both sides of the card and stop the video if you need to, to carefully examine it and what it says, the specific copy, the offer, the headlines, everything else. And then start the video again and I'll give you my verdict of whether I think it's good, bad, or ugly. All right, your verdict is in, glad to hear it. Now it's time to get the judge, all right? So, first of all, it is good from the concept of trying to reactivate a dormant customer. Look, they already paid to get me as a customer in the first place, now they're trying to reactivate me. Frankly, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did to come around to the idea of trying to get me back into the fold. Second thing that was well done about it is that they personalized it using variable data. Remember, on the address side, it says, Jim, take advantage of this limited time offer and stay on the path to good health with CalMax. So they're featuring in the headline the offer, and they're making a benefit, stay on the path to good health. On the other side, it says, Jim, thanks for being our customer, which reminds me that I did business with them before. They don't know which side I'm going to see of the postcard when I pull it out of my mailbox, but either way, it's been personalized and has a, a, a headline that could be meaningful. All right? It's got four great reasons to continue taking CalMax, something I sent back to them, something that they should know. Uh, in other words, if I'd finished the whole order of CalMax and not sent it back but merely failed to reorder, then this, uh, this line of uh, four great reasons to continue taking CalMax would make more sense. But because I did not wait but rather sent them back some amount of the order, there should have probably been a different appeal and probably should have gone to a different product. They did go to a different product as their secondary reason for response should have been primary in this case, but give them credit for at least having a secondary reason for response. The layout is okay, the graphics are okay. I can't say that this is a great effort, but it's certainly not ugly. It certainly is well conceived and wise on the part of the company to do it, and execution was not too bad. So I'm not gonna give it great, but I'm also not gonna give it ugly I'm not even going to go bad with this one. I'm going to give this one a good minus. Anyway, what was your take on that particular uh, ad specimen? 
Was it good, bad, or ugly from your perspective? And did you learn something as a result of my analysis? Well, I certainly hope so. That's why you're here for crying out loud. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because every week we come out with a new video. And most importantly, tell your friends about it so they can get in the game as well. You could vote as a block, huh? Or maybe share the videos with each other so that you can challenge each other about why you or your friends thought it was good, bad, or ugly. Any way you slice the cake, there's one thing for certain. This will help you in your quest to get more customers who will pay you more money more often. The fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible right here on BizKaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.